که نازو پاس خریق بون لگر ما به پشتیم تشکا امه یه موضوع آوستم پپای انا گره را کشن بر سمتم کو او خلوتی اسخان بوتم شکاو من امه نو سارا آوام The bombing of Suleimania achieved its aims. The casualties and destruction to the city forced Sheikh Mahmoud into them and the city was occupied by British troops. Trenchard's vision of the potential of air power had been vindicated. So much so, the colonial secretary in 1925, Leo Amory, out of Iraq. If the risk King Faisal runs throughout Iraq, it is entirely due to British airplanes. If the airplanes were removed tomorrow, the whole structure would inevitably lose. Yet the success could not hide misgivings at the methods involved. A disturbing report reached Churchill of an incident where British pilots had machine gunned women and children. In response, Churchill wrote Chard, to fire willfully on women and children is a disgraceful act. I am sized you did not order the officers responsible to be tried by court martial. By doing such things, we put ourselves on the lower level. In spite of Churchill's intention, no action was taken. In fact, Trenchard took steps to censor reports before they reached his political masters. The documents proving this censorship were kept hidden by official secrecy for 50 years. In one letter, Trenchard instructed his under in Iraq or tonnage of bombs dropped or casualties caused as the news that two tons of bombs have been dropped on some little village daily might give a wrong sense of proportion at home. In another letter, the Air Council asked for a report to be censored on the grounds that if this report as it stands were to get into the hands of undesirable people, harm would be done not only to the Air Force, but also to Majesty's government. However optional reports were at home, there was no avoiding the dire of the pilots ordered to carry out the bomb. My pilot was a flying off needle. We flew to Ireland and commenced to while McNeil, only a while or something, took to no action, but just flew around the battlefield looking at it, and then flew off um, to find out what was, uh, what thought, or real was there might be farther back. And we flew into the hills there. They were very close, of course. Um, and eventually found a couple of poor Kurds strung up a hundred Gale's pilot fired a burst of gun fire Kurds. My realist, I had already spent uh, some years living with the Kurds. At Halebja, I lived right in the town with the Kurds all around me. And I used to walk out and the doors open and everything else. They, they virtually thought they were looking after me. And when McNeil had put his burst down, I was bloody annoyed. You, you know, things get a little bit upset, you do get a bit tight, and it, it feels good sort of let go with a gun. It, it's a feeling perhaps it comes over you, I've experienced it. It's not um, something that you want to do, it's just you get carried away, I suppose, a bit. And uh, How many discussions did you have about it? How many? Did you kill it? Did you like it? Didn't. A discussion about the curse. Previously, you might have been out and had a tea party with them somewhere in one of the villages. They were more jovial. And, uh, to my way, they were from Iraqi from the plains. Um, it was quite a joy to go up through the mountains and call into the various. Kurdish villages. Uh, they always supply you with uh, some tea and a fruit, and uh, it's very welcome. So that uh, to learn, we had far more respect for the Kurd than we did for the Iraqi. They had some very fine principles which they lived by, and we should have been encouraging the, uh, the Kurds rather than siding with the gutter rats who were the Arabs, and they were Arabs. I think there's no doing the right thing in, in, in what we were doing, uh, in the operation place. We were ordered to do it, and it was a job of work. Um, 
knew what everybody knew. Uh, did you feel really justified, apart from the on, or perhaps you thought your life, your own life, was in danger, and you thought you, know, you had to take man and do something about it? But I, I, I'd never met anybody really that enjoyed killing Kurds. I don't feel good about it. I still sort of read uh, and know what's going on, and I, I don't like it. Not one little bit. I think, what is it, political expediency?